So we're here at the ID Tech X show here in Berlin and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Kerry Adams. I'm a marketing manager for DuPont Advanced Materials. Um, so we're here to promote our uh, various conductive and dielectric inks uh, which enable many different applications in the printed electronics industry. So what are we looking at here? So this is a brand new product. This is PE410 Inkjet Silver. Um, what we have here is a demonstrator made, enabled with this silver material. It's fully inkjet printed. Uh, it enable, it uh, contains an NFC uh, activation chip and it also contains a capacitive touch switch. And uh, actually, this is just to demonstrate the technology and what you have here on the back is uh, the circuitry with the embedded LEDs uh, in and you can either activate it with a smartphone or you can just do it with a capacitive touch switch. But the beauty here is it's fully inkjet printed. Fully inkjet printed, but yep. then you add the LEDs, you And that's snap mounted them on. afterwards, yeah, they're, 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 they're mounted on afterwards. So what's the advantage of having fully inkjet printed uh, stuff? Well, the thing is with inkjet printing, it means it gives you digital prototyping ability. So you can very quickly come up with a design, stick it in your computer, send it to your inkjet printer and print a fully functional electrical, electrical circuit or component within uh, you know, a few minutes. And then with that design, you can scale up to bigger scale inkjet machines and even go into sort of uh, pilot scale production, that so sort of thing. So when it's not fully e-inkjet printed, that means it's more complicated, it's more expensive? It, it's just a little less flexible on the design. So if you want to do something um, uh, via a more analog method of printing, you may have to go away and create either the printing plate or the screen, and then you have to get that made, um, and then you have to do the run and any alterations then you have to do, you have to uh, change that plate or change that screen. Whereas this, you're just changing something on a, on a computer. So this one just has the functionality there with the, the LEDs lighting up. Where's it, the battery? So that's in the base here. Yeah, that's, okay. that's contained yeah. in the base. And where's the touch? So that, yeah, okay, so I'll have to go off again before yeah. you uh, reactivate it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And uh, what are you looking at here? Uh, yeah, so this is uh, another range of inks uh, that have recently been introduced by DuPont and they are washable and stretchable uh, inks and they are used for things like you see here which is turned inside out it's a it's a it's a sports shirt with a series of sensors uh, on it so what happens is that you print onto let's say a, 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 a polyurethane substrate and then you laminate that onto the actual shirt itself and then that, that those sensors can pick up your heart rate, they can pick up um, your temperature, they can pick up oxygen content, depending on what you're trying to measure. So, That's awesome. Yeah. So how soon are we all going to have shirts on like this all the time? Yeah, I think we'll be having them probably uh, towards the end of this year. That's very um, soon. So, yeah, yeah, we're, people are in advanced prototyping stages, so I think sort of end of 2016, 2017, you'll see these sort of sports shirts around. And this, these are some of the other... Yeah. Uh, so this is... Uh, yeah, this, this is one for the shower, right? Right, right. So this is called in mold electronics. Yeah. Okay, so this is not a working demo, but yeah. it's uh, it's a very nice illustration that you can get a 3D shape yeah. uh, from printing on a 2D surface. So is it already mass production? Uh, no. Again, this this type of thing, the in mold circuits, again, are in advanced prototyping stage with a lot of companies, important companies in automotive and in white goods. And um, it's a very new technology, and it, what it does, it just removes the whole circuit board that would be here normally. And you've got here a very simple printed circuit, right? That, that lowers the weight. Lowers the weight, of the makes car. it easier to make, lowers the cost, increases the functionality, increases the, the reliability of, also. Yeah, and, and also just the, the, the sheer, um, you know, the, the functionality and the beauty of it compared to what it would be like. But also, you, you've you've totally removed a series of circuit boards here with circuitry on. Nice, and this one? It's the same. So this one is uh, a demo that just shows uh, what can be done. Uh, again, this is an NFC-enabled um, uh, device with various capacitive touch switches. But the point here is the form factor and the ease of use of, of, so then, uh, of, uh, yeah. of, the, of the unit. And yep. this is uh, what you usually... Uh, this is already uh, being mass produced. Yeah, right? these, these are our standard materials. So we've got silver, copper, dielectric, carbon. They're used in a variety of applications. Sorry, this one's uh, particularly uh, used in biomedical sensors, things like blood glucose sensing. And these are already in mass production, using billions of you know units. Yeah. Billions. Yeah. And uh, this is stretchable. Yeah, this is the same technology as I showed you on the yeah. shirt. So this gives you a nice illustration of the material you can stretch it and it nice. still works fine and you can wash it as well nice and uh, what are we looking at over here uh, here we've got some new materials again um, so 
what we've developed here is uh, a, a Kapton branded ink. So Kapton is famous for, for film manufacture. It's very high reliable, high thermal stability in, in the film's world. And now we've got an ink with the same qualities uh, in its ingredients and uh, it's a capped on branded ink and so it get, what it gives you is very high operating temperatures where other silver inks would fail and would decompose this one keeps working up to an, you know around 200 225 degrees C operating temperature. Well, so you can use different materials for the sub substrate yeah, right? Yeah you, well, in this case it's capped on itself so what, what it enables is if you've got a heater that is operating up around 150 200 degrees you can fully print it okay so oh. it's a nice thin flexible heater in this case. That's cool. This is just an example of the circuit. And this one is uh, this low is, temperature? Yeah, this is like the opposite. So you're extending printed electronics in both directions. So you have here inks that are cured at as low as 60 degrees. So right. what it enables is uh, substrates that are used traditionally for different applications. So like packaging and uh, other types of uh, applications. You can use print directly onto polyolefins and, and PVC, yeah. things like that. Can, can we grab uh, this one right here? Uh, Yep. What is this? What is this about? So again, this is a, a good example of what's possible. This is a uh, an NFC. Uh, it was in fact a sensor unit, um, and it's an NFC and um, antenna and NFC chip integrated into a sensor circuit. And what we had here, we had a range of different materials. So you can have an inkjet one, you can have a screen printed one. You have low temperature curing materials, high temperature curing materials, but they all function pretty well. So you can vary the substrate, and in this case, in the in the in the showcase here, you can see one that's done on a stretchable substrate. So you can see it's it's bent round there. That's cool. So here you can you can stretch it, and nice. it still works. So all these uh, awesome, amazing uh, <laughs> things are. Uh, some of them are research. Some of them are approaching mass production. Some are in billions of devices. Yeah. And you are all over the range. Yeah, we're on the range because we're constantly inventing new things. So a lot of the new things we're inventing, they're just coming up to being commercially available, and they'll be in the market in the next year or two. And some of the more traditional things we've been making, they've been on the market for up to 50 years in some cases. And, and where do you invent those? Is it in all over the world? Yeah, it's global research and manufacturing. Yeah. Cool.